Janice, how do folks sign up for this? How how can people get uh, access to the uh, the conference and everything else that we've been talking about tonight? Sure, um, we are going to have a link in the in the show notes and the information. Oh, look at that! Yes, that was me before and after. Oh goodness! <laughs> and it's got the uh, you can see the website uh, there and the feedloop.com. You can also Google. Uh, Conference on Religious Trauma, and then uh, the option that comes up that says Feed Loop, that's the one you would click on. So you go there and you can register right there on the site. And uh, anyone who's watching or listening to this podcast, you can get yourself a nice little discount using the code POD15, capital letters, P-O-D-1-5. Get yourself a little discount right there. I really thought that that was a reference to alt-rock group P-O-D, but okay, we'll go with POD. <laughs> What happened to Christy? Uh, Christy pulled his bike out again. He he tends to do that from time to time. So he's going to get himself plugged in and I'll let the him producers are like, his oh. interview. Christy, you made it through it almost a whole show, buddy. Oh, we still can't hear you. No, the Canadians are no, taking over. The Canadians are nothing. running. All this right. Show. Well, let's just carry on, you know. Tea coffee. <laughs> Chris, Christy will be back shortly, I'm sure. I hope so. He says uh -huh. no. He says, no, 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 no. So what what can the what can the audience do, Janice? Like what what can the rest of us, what can a lay person like me do to support the mission of the conference on religious trauma? Uh, I think for sure, listen to someone. When someone tells you um, that they that they no longer believe that they've lost their faith, um, <laughs> You know, meet them with compassion. Don't say things like, well, you finally woke up and you don't believe in Santa Claus or took you long enough or whatever, because these people are are walking through a significant transition. They have already yeah. experienced trauma. So please be a soft place for them to mm -hmm. land. And we want to encourage them to... Uh, attend podcasts like uh, like this one. Uh, and there are lots of um, places also on Facebook. There are different groups for people who are recovering. Of course, recovering from religion. Um, Journeyfree.org is uh, Marlene Winnell's um, organization as well. There are places that people can go uh, for help and healing along the way and encourage them to come to the conference on religious trauma. And one more thing I'll say too, I have um, a podcast all about secular parenting. It's called the Godless Moms podcast. And I host it with my friend, Courtney Hurd, who's known as the Godless Mom on social media. Mm. And we do it every Saturday at noon PST. Godless Moms podcast. Yeah, okay. that's us. We're number nine in Costa Rica. I don't know what people in Costa Rica are. So I'm like, field trip. We do not want to disappoint our Costa Rican audience. I mean, audience. if I could be any number in Costa Rica, uh, <laughs> I would be satisfied with that, right? <laughs> Exciting. I would take a Costa Rican winter over a Canadian winter all day. Seriously. Christy, we still don't hear you. Christy, I, yeah, I don't think Christy is back yet. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hearing him. That's okay. Christy, if you could give us some pantomime, or, or perhaps we should play a, play a game of charades real quick before we wrap up, all right? It's, uh, it's going to be two words, one syllable. <laughs> Sounds right. like, yep. Yeah, that's right.